Hey guys, Derek here with the Closet Doctor question on Facebook today. You know, what do you need in your install van? Uh, let me show you what we've got in ours. We run pretty lean. I've had guys before that have hired that have more tools than Home Depot and uh, carry it all. I had one guy that had a hundred tools in a bucket. It's funny. I told him, hey man, you need to clean out your bucket. You need to 3S your bucket. You know, be lean with your bucket. Oh no, everything I, everything I, I use, everything that's in there. And so when he left the company, we went through his bucket to make sure that he didn't have any company tools in there. At the bottom of his bucket, I kid you not, his bucket weighed 45 pounds. At the bottom of his bucket, at least five tape measures. At least five tape measures. He's like, yeah, you use all of that stuff. But we try to run lean and the way that we do our installations, that we carry the tools that we need and not a whole lot more. Let me show you what we got in our vans. So our two main vans that we use are the uh, the Ram Promasters. Uh, we like them. Uh, I don't like it because it's an ugly van and I don't really like the front wheel drive and its towing capacity is limited. But for closet installations, I like it. The floor is, the back floor is low. The distance between the wheel wells is wide. The sides of the van are very straight up and down. There's enough room to stand in it and not bang your head. And it's just a good all around, you know, they come with a nice floor in it. It comes with lots of space in it. So stuff that we've got in ours. So we load all everything in and out in our load up boxes in the back. Now, this isn't the tools that my guys are using, but I do have them outfitted with everything they need. Uh, if they're to forget something or we got a problem, uh, Jigsaw multi-tool, drill and an impact, flashlight and a charger. I use all Ry Ryobi stuff because I got tired of replacing expensive tools. People don't treat your tools like they treat their own. So if they want to be, you know, tool uh, aficionados, they can buy their own Ryobi, or not Ryobi, but uh, expensive stuff. Uh, also carry a cordless fan. Closets get hot in the summertime, runs on the Ryobi. They get two batteries on the van. Uh, we use the, the stick vacuum, and then we also have a tank vacuum up there, uh, both cordless Ryobis, carry an extension cord. This is our screw box that we use. Uh, I'll pull this one out and show you over here real quick. This is, we use this one, and this covers just about everything for a closet install. And you'll notice all of the bins are labeled, and I believe they're also, yep, they're also labeled here. And this is standardized across all three of our vans so that your helper knows where to put things back. And when he's going to pick stuff up, put stuff back in, that it's always organized. So that's our, our screw box. And so this is everything you'd need for a closet installation. Um, and they restock that every day. So this is just kind of our standard stuff. Front of the van, uh, we carry in here. So uh, a good solid step ladder, and we've gone to these ones to make sure that they've got a wide platform on the steps so that when you're standing on them, that they're comfortable. My guys have added drill holders to the side of them so that when you're on the ladder, you've got a place to put your drill. And I've even got guys that have got uh, magnets on here so that when they can put a screw box on there and it'll hold it in place. Uh, saw stop table saw. Uh, we don't use these very often. It's big and it takes up a lot of space. I had an incident about two years ago that uh, these saved my finger. And so we got rid of any of our regular uh, table saws and that's what we use now. And then we also have a chop saw in each van. This one rides on top here. We just set this up today where it rides on top. It's got a little thing that's in there that holds it in place on top of the, uh, the saw there. And then this goes on a fold-out table and it has wing extensions. This is an old one that's been discontinued. I can't find any more, but Paul Akers at Fast Cap has got ones that, aluminum ones that fold out. Uh, we also have a track saw on the van. We're using that more than the chop saw. And then these are, you can kind of see here, this is on the back. We got spare handles. It's kind of our emergency box. We've got a wall bed box uh, in there. We've got a blower. Uh, up on top, he's got a couple other boxes that are emergency stuff. Our goal with the van is not ever have to stand inside of it uh, to get anything, so everything's reachable. This is on the pullout that, that slides out. This is an RV slide. Two foot and four foot levels. My guy just put this in today, so that's on the back. They're there. Cult gun, cult hold. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. You're about halfway through. There's a whole bunch of other good stuff on here. Take a second and like and subscribe. And also uh, a bunch of the products that I've got in here, I've all got them on Amazon and I've put all of the links in the description. Enjoy. And then uh, this is our big one. I also put a link to this on Amazon. These are our rollout mats. So when we show up on the job, we roll these out and this is what we're walking in. We literally, the closet doctor, we roll out the red carpet for you. So when we're walking in and out of the house that we're not on your floors, uh, we also have some drop down tarps. These are the non skid ones. And those work great uh, when you're going up and down stairs because you don't want to put, you don't want to put these type of mats on the stairs. So we put those on so that you can walk up and down the stairs and not trip yourself. Uh, then over here, we've got uh, iron on white edge banding and we've got an iron for that and carry a few other things. Up top, we carry a couple pieces of scribe in white, extra closet rod, we've got some brackets and stuff like that. And uh, the hay hooks up here, those are for carrying wall beds. And then you'll notice everything in this van, most everything in this van has got a color code on it. Everything is color coded. This is the green van. And so if tools get, we got two vans on the job, stuff gets put back where it's at. Uh, on the inside, every van is equipped with a credit card swiper uh, so that they can accept that we can swipe a card to get payment and uh, have a good supply of snacks from the fridge and even a half of a sandwich. I hate these compartments because this is what they always do. Our other van, he's built a nice improvement there. But So that's pretty much all of the stuff that we have in our van. Uh, simple and clean. We can get everything without standing on there. Yeah, we also have got uh, hole saws and other drill bits. Uh, and we've got, don't know where it's at in this van, but we have the jig for drilling ray fixes. If we need to drill a ray fix, cut down a shelf on the job and drill a ray fix, we have a jig for that. It's over in, uh, in the, the emergency stuff there. So, a couple other things I forgot to point out now that you're having a good day. Uh, we, this is a fast cap maker. So if we need to make custom fast caps, We'll take a little bit of uh, edge banding with us and we've got the tools to make it on here. My guys also, uh, th they like this. This is their little sanding block. They just take a belt sander and a piece of plywood and that way if they've got to cut something or do something, they want to just break an edge, they've got that. And then let me show you one other thing. So the other thing that I make all of my installers and installer helpers wear is a little pouch and it's just a simple one. And so we've got the one here so this is my personal one here. The first thing is it's got a tape measure holder on it. And that way it's got the, the metal one. It's easy to on and off. I carry it, I keep two Sharpies. These are fast cap Sharpie holders. So when you pull the, I'm doing this left hand hang in here. You pull it out, the Sharpie's there and the cap stays in it. And then you, so you can reach over and grab your Sharpie. I use that for a lot of things. I also have a highlighter in it. When I'm working in the shop and things like that, we use different colors or we'll highlight stuff. Depending on what we're doing, we modify this. Always have a razor knife. This is the cobalt one. Uh, I love it because it flips open. It's got good uh, storage on the inside here. And like, once again, I'm doing this left-handed. You can change your razor blade in a really quick. And so it's a nice one. Keep that in there. Phillips screwdriver. This actually is not a Phillips. This is the... Uh, whatever you call it, the European one for doing the ray fix. This one works best. You get those from Hayfla. I keep a magnetic stud finder in there. And then my phone goes in this pouch here and any other garbage that I might need. But then it's always, always is ready to go right on my, my hip. So when I'm working, it's always right there. We're not walking around looking for things. So that's another thing that uh, I highly recommend.